Hi, Hiram here. Boy, this isopropyl alcohol has really gotten people interested or whatever. I've had many requests to please look at this again and see what's going on with it, why it soots up so much. So, I've been, you can see it's getting down low, I've been playing with this, and I noticed something. Uh, you've probably seen it in other people's stoves. But height seems to be an important factor, the height of the flames. Now let's say here I've got one fluid ounce of the isopropyl 91%. And let me start my camera two here. like this. Now, you've seen this before. This is just my coddle stove. It's a coddle bottom with an exhaust wrap on the inside held in place by some hardware cloth. Now, I hope you can see on the lower end here it's kind of blue. But as it gets taller the flames get all yellow. What I'm going to do here is put on a pot stand now, of course, that makes it a stove. A burner and a pot stand, in my mind, makes a stove. Okay, I hope this works. Normally, the pot stand is four squares high, or it would be one inch above the top of the coddle stove. This one's only three, so there's only a half inch space there. Now, let's see what happens when I put two cups of water on there. See how the flames turn mostly to blue? Now this is a different, I have more alcohol in here than what I did before, but the last time I tried this, just a little bit earlier, the flames were all blue. Now I see a little bit of yellow there. But let's see what this does. There we have 210, 211, to 12 at 754, okay, so you saw that there was a lot of blue flames with that, not totally blue. this out. See how we go back to having the yellow flame. And here's the bottom of pot. Now there is some soot. I'll admit there's soot there, but nowhere near as much as what there'd be if I put it on flames like that. Now what I'm going to do here real quick is clean this up. I want to elevate this burner. I think this, I change, never change your equipment in midstream. I was using a different uh, pot stand before and I got a much nicer flame on it, blue flame. What I'm going to do is let this run out, cool off, and I'm going to elevate this burner up a little bit so that it's closer to the top of the pot stand. But I'll be right back. Hi, Hiram here. I'm back. I just want to show you what can happen with this. What I've done is I've put a couple of uh, tokens, casino tokens, underneath the burner to raise it up 
so that it's a little bit closer to the top of the level of the pot stand. As you can see, the flame is a typical isopropyl flame, all yellow and all. Now I'll go to the camera two. Watch what happens when I put the pot on at this short distance. The flame turns all blue. All the yellow is gone. Watch, if I lift it up, you got yellow, come down, and the yellow just about totally disappears. It looks like it's the height that's the whole, you know, it doesn't get enough air, so it burns yellow. But if you cut this flame down, leave a smaller burn gap, it turns the flame to blue and the yellow seems to disappear. Even a stove, I don't know if I said this before, the Venom stove. You've seen me use this one before, it's a pretty decent little stove. I put a pot on this and it burned pretty blue. Not to totally blue, but 80% blue. If this was just tweaked a little bit here, with the height of this pot stand part, that it brought the pot down closer to the wicking, I bet you this could even burn isopropyl without all the soot. People ask me to look into this. This is what I found so far. I don't think it takes a special stove or a burner. I think we just have to look at the uh, burners and stoves that we have now and just see what changes have to be made. Yeah, there now it's turning a little yellow, but if there's more interest in this, I'll look into it more. It does look like isopropyl could be used, but it's going to be a slower boil time. So, thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, your questions, remarks like in this, your helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend, and that's in the thick and thin.